What are you saying, people? Tommy Eng here, and we're going to talk about Idris Virgo today, aka the ring girl, aka the body tickler. And now, this clown here has been pretending to be a boxer for a long time. He's not known for boxing, he's known for being a, for being a Love Island stripper and a TikTok dancer. That's what he's known for. Now, he's um, calling out every single professional boxer there is. He called out Billy Joe Saunders, um, he called out Carl Frotch, he's called out, you know, every single influencer boxer you can imagine. Now, Billy Joe Saunders offered him 200k if he would take the rematch with me which he then tried to pass off as if he was talking about Tommy Fury, which he wasn't. Because it's easy to just try to play, you know, oh, Tommy, Tommy Fury, Tommy Hench. No, there's only one Tommy Hench. And uh, he knows that more than anybody because me had a fight a decade ago and uh, I gave him the brutal beating. The worst beating he's ever received in his life, you know, in and outside the ring, was received by me. Now, um, the rematch was always talked about between me and him. And I was always obliged to give him the rematch, but we wanted to build it up a bit bigger. Now, um, we kept in contact, you know, but he ended up getting a professional license. Now, the reason why this fight didn't happen for such a substantial amount of time is because I was refused my boxing license, um, you know, and it was nothing to do with, you know, my, my ability to win a fight because I'd, I'd literally beaten everybody around my area that's, that did get a license, him including. Um, so, I would refuse to fight him under, you know, couldn't really, even if I wanted to at the time, couldn't have fought him as a professional. So that's why the fight didn't happen for such a long period of time. Now, long, not long ago, he, he crossed over. Now, before he got onto Misfits, he saw me fighting on uh, Wicked and Bad uh, against Tom Little. And uh, he then approached me and asked me for the, um, for the rematch. And I said I would gladly take it. Only a couple of months later, he was announced he was uh, with Misfits and he was doing videos with uh, the likes of KSI. So um, obviously he's, he's forgotten who I am, you know, which he, you know, he hasn't, but you know what I mean? And um, yeah, so this, this rematch is, is, is prime right now. I'm coming down in weight. Um, it seems like a really good time to make it. And there's no excuses, you know, uh, bring a good crowd. I've got a massive network of people. And it's not like me, me and him fighting on Misfits is not going to do numbers and it's not not it's not going to like be, Misfits ain't going to go bankrupt for putting this fight on it's it, you know and I've and I've agreed to uh, the weight category he wants me to get down to I've agreed to uh, a 70 30 split you know um even even the likes of Tyron MC and uh and Steve and Steve Oda Madman have stepped forward and showed us genuine interest for this fight because it's very similar to the fight between um Anthony Joshua and Dylan White. Now, Dylan White beat him in the amateurs. Um, you know, Anthony Joshua went on to the, the Olympics, etc., and, and got more accolades in boxing, and the rematch went in the favour of Joshua. But he's no Anthony Joshua, and I'm no Dylan White. Now, um, but it's the same type, kind of kind of thing. Um, but he never he's not really gone into boxing and got any accolades. He fought, he's got 14 and 0 as a professional. But you can be 30 and 0 as a professional and be absolutely absolutely garbage. Now, like, like in my opinion, like Dion Tewelda, um, you know, you can fight 30 donuts. He's fought 14 donuts and he's claiming to be this professional boxer. Now, um, the only way to, for him to prove that he's improved is to fight me. Because um, you know, he could go and beat Floyd Merriver tomorrow yeah but it wouldn't mean anything you know it wouldn't mean anything because i'm the one who's got his dignity i'm the guy that 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 beat him no money's great you know what i mean but it's not everything you know you can buy a house but it won't get you what you can't buy a home do you get what i mean and some things are just worth more than money like your dignity and you and you and as a boxer there's no boxer out there i imagine that started boxing and thought oh you know if i ever lose against somebody i'm just gonna you know uh you know you, you go back and re revenge that loss you know you like lennox lewis is a great example of how a boxer should be a true champion true fighting man now um obviously people don't share these sort of models these days but we're also going to go into more depth about other, other aspects of his of his uh of his career and what he's been doing so let's go on to that now, when he wants to fight with somebody who's, who's sort of got a small clout or something that's going to bring more to his table, he, he's out there trying to make this fight happen to all up in people's faces. Now, um, me and him are the same type of person, and this is something that I could do, but what's the point? You know, because if somebody doesn't want to fight you, they won't fight you. Same as reason why this fight didn't happen after the altercation between him and Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury was on to other things. Now, Idris Virgo could probably make the same argument with me, but the, the, the difference between this is that me and Idris have history. Him, they have no history. This is just him, clout chasing. Now, I want people to understand that 
As much as these people will turn around and say, oh, Tommy, it's just, you're just clout chasing me, da, da, da. But he's the clout chaser. Do you get what I'm saying? So you, you, you just, it's not just about clout. Unfortunately, clout comes with big fights. Now, I'd be quite happy if he had, a, like they say, 20,000 followers or something like that. And I had 20,000 followers and, and the fight was kind of in Birmingham and local. It didn't have to be on Misfits and be as big as it can be. Um, but... It is that big now, and there's, that seems to be even more or less reason for this fight not to happen. I don't know if that's the right, wing, is that the right words. More or less reason. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> he had a really good fight with uh, Anthony Taylor. Now, Anthony Taylor, he's coming from an MMA background, and he's pretty much on the influencer side of um, of this of this game. He's not coming from the professional sort of professional sort of scene, whereas. Idris Virgo, he's coming from the professional boxing scene. Even though he's a low-level professional and he's nowhere near as good as me as a professional, um, he still is a professional. So, you know, let's call it what it is. And um, it was his, his discipline and he managed to get the victory over Andy Taylor. Andy Taylor had gone on to get a title shot against King Kenny. Now, King Kenny supposedly comes from a boxing family and couldn't even deal with uh, an MMA fighter crossing over a two-fight novice. Um, big respect to Andy Taylor for being able to put relentless pressure on uh, King Kenny, break him down and, uh, and, and, and get the victory. Now, Andy Taylor has now got a title and he's now a champion. And Idris Virgo has, has made videos um, showing that he's completely jealous of this guy and now he wants the rematch, having, 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 to, having already had the win over him. And this is the kind of mentality of a bully because, you know... Even beating him for this title would not really make him a champion because there's levels to this game. And uh, as, as a champion myself, I, you know, this is the this is this is the title that he should be trying to fight for. You know, the guy that beat him, you know, the Birmingham nice down gloves up champion. Um, beating this guy for this title would only show that he's a coward. Yeah, because he he's been doing boxing for a very, very long time now. For somebody that's crossed over to fight um, a so-called boxer from a boxing family and to come out victorious, he deserves to be crowned, especially the fact that um, he's willing, I think he's the sort of person that will back up every single person that he calls out, whereas Idris isn't like that, he's fake. He's only calling these people out, all these influencers, knowing that these fights will never happen, just to get a bit of attention off them all. And it's it's really dis 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 it's just disgraceful. Do you know what I'm saying? Idris Virgo has gone to fight a uh, Geordie Shaw star. Now, a, a Geordie Shaw guy isn't a boxer either. Now, this is the kind of, this is what Idris Virgo is doing. He's looking for people that have attention that aren't boxers in order to claim and, and just trying to bully his way through. Um, and this isn't something that, that, that people should respect. And this is something that people should be applauding. I think this is something that should be called out on. Um, and he needs to leave the influencers alone and he needs to come and fight a real, real test. And on that test, whether you like it or not, I've got the history, I've got the backing, uh, the offer's been made. And now you guys can be fully on board with what this guy's up to, what this guy's about, and not allow him to get away with what he's trying to do and make him step up to the plate and, uh, yeah, respond to this video. Get hitch! Okay, get